The infamous Hebbian theory is a neuroscientific theory introduced by Donald Hebb in his book The Organization of Behavior in 1949. The theory claims that an increase in synaptic efficacy arises from a presynaptic cell's repeated and persistent stimulation of a postsynaptic cell. It is an attempt to explain synaptic plasticity, the adaptation of brain neurons during the learning process. Other names by which the theory is known are Hebb's rule, Hebb's postulate, and cell assembly theory. According to the theory, when the axon of a cell A is close enough to excite a B cell and takes part in its activation in a repetitive and persistent way, some type of growth process or metabolic changes takes place in one or both cells. So that increases the efficiency of cell A in the activation of B. It is customary to be summarized as neurons that fire together, wire together. Meaning that if you have sustainable thought patterns for a long time or you do something time and again, the neurons in your brain tend to strengthen that learning pattern into a learned behavior, namely a habit. This is because the simultaneous activation of nearby neurons leads to an increase in the strength of synaptic connection between them. For example, consider driving a car. When you first start to drive, you're quite conscious about everything ranging from turning the key to changing gears. However, after you become habitual, you conduct all these things subconsciously. The neurons in our brain are constantly changing, depending on what we're thinking or how we're acting. If we use a certain skill throughout our life, then we can actually develop that part of the neural network to a greater degree. For instance, a guitarist uses his fingers frequently for plucking and strumming the strings and chords. With time, as it becomes a habit, the dexterity of his fingers enlarges and he becomes more proficient. This proves that the more active the neurons in the brain are, the more they recruit more neurons, which in turn increases the neural network. Learned helplessness or learned paralysis occurs when an animal or a human is repeatedly subjected to a negative stimulus to such an extent that organism begins to feel helpless and starts feeling like giving up. When children or adults feel like they have no control over the situation, their behavior shows signs of being paralyzed or helpless. Several psychological disorders such as clinical depression, anxiety and phobias can be exacerbated by learned helplessness. Hebb's law demonstrates that the more we think in an unresponsive or pessimistic way, the deeper that groove becomes. Donald Hebb is the creator of the most mentioned principle in psychobiology or behavioral neuroscience. His book gives us a theory about behavior based on the physiology of the nervous system. It makes an important attempt to find the common between neurological and psychological conceptions. Hebb said in an interview that one objective of this book is to present a theory of behavior for the consideration of psychologists. However, another objective is to pursue a common basis with anatomists, physiologists, and neurologists. We show how psychological theory is related to their problems and concurrently make them contribute to this theory. In the neuro quotient context, we call neuro behaviors to the habits, learnings, or better behavior patterns, brain connections that give rise to a complex behavior, doing, thinking, and feeling that is repeated more likely and easier. When we conduct ourselves, thinking, doing, and feeling, in a certain way, the underlining neuronal connections are activated and reinforced. In this way, the frequency and intensity of the corresponding behavior increases. Thus, the behavior is based on some powerful neuronal connections. For this reason, it is difficult to change it. Coming back to the analogy, the deeper the grooves are, the more likely it is that water descends through them. Heavy learning and spike timing dependent plasticity have been used in an influential theory of how mirror neurons emerge. Mirror neurons are neurons that fire both when an individual performs an action and when the individual sees or hears another perform a similar action. The discovery of these neurons has been very influential in explaining how individuals make sense of the actions of others by showing that when a person perceives the actions of others, the person activates the motor programs which they would use to perform similar actions. The activation of these motor programs then adds information to the perception and helps predict what the person will do next based on the perceiver's own motor program. A challenge has been to explain how individuals come to have neurons that respond both while performing an action and while hearing or seeing another perform similar actions. 
Even today, Hebb's rule remains one of the primary factors for predicting which synapses shall be strengthened in a network of neurons. More recent research has uncovered other characteristics of the networking groups of neurons. That was all for today's video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified, to get access to more such content.